In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Git integration for PowerShell Universal. This allows you to connect to a remote Git uh, or Git repo and clone it locally with all your PowerShell Universal configuration files. I have a GitHub repo here, a private GitHub repo, that contains some configuration files for PowerShell Universal. You can see I have a dashboard. I also have some um, configuration files like environments as well as the dashboards.ps1. So what I want to do is connect my PowerShell Universal instance to this GitHub repo. So what I'm going to do is first I need to get the actual HTTPS address of this repo. So you can click code, make sure you're on the HTTPS tab, and then click copy. Inside your uh, app settings.json for PowerShell Universal, you're going to want to specify the Git remote address of that Git repo inside the Git remote setting. Uh, next, I'm going to specify my username. We're going to use personal access tokens, so this actually isn't necessary, but um, you can use your username and password, or you can generate a um, personal access token in place of a password, which is what I would recommend. So now let's go to um, GitHub, and I can click my avatar up here, click settings. Uh, down here on developer settings, I want to click personal access tokens, and now I can generate a new token. Um, this is going to ask for some information. Uh, first is a note. I'm just going to call this PSU3. And then I want to make sure that I have the repo um, scope selected so that I can clone re uh, repositories um, as my user. So I'm going to generate this token. And now you can see the token is listed here. I can copy that. Um, make sure you copy it because you won't be able to see it again. And then from here, I'm going to just put that value into my git password. I want to clone the main branch, so I'll put that there, and I'm going to leave it as a two-way git sync. So in with this type of configuration, any changes that I make in the admin console will actually be pushed back up to the git remote, um, and then any changes made in the git remote will be uh, synchronized down to the admin console. So now when we start our um, universal server, it's actually going to go ahead and clone that git repository locally. So if I actually go to my program data folder, you're going to see that I have my repository folder, and it's cloned those files from my uh, Git remote. Now, if I actually log into uh, my PowerShell Universal Admin Console, you'll notice that all those settings that were um, stored inside of the Git repository are available here. You'll see that I have my dashboard as well as my environments. So I have several environments and then a dashboard created. Now, let's make a change inside of PowerShell Universal. I'm actually going to add an API. So I'll go here, and I'll just put in a test API and click OK. So what that's actually going to do is it's going to create this API locally, uh, which will create a file inside of my PowerShell Universal Universal folder. And now you can see that it actually updated this remote GitHub repository with my um, updates from the git sync. So the git sync happens once a minute. So your changes aren't synchronized every single time you make a change, but then instead they're synchronized once a minute. And now you can see that I have this endpoint that I created, slash test. And if I want to go ahead, what I can do is I can actually edit this endpoint inside GitHub, since I have two-way git sync enabled. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually return some text from this particular um, endpoint and then commit it directly into my repository. So now, when the net next git sync runs, it's actually going to update the PowerShell Universal um, endpoint to return this particular text. And now you can see that it's actually updated this particular uh, endpoint with the text that I uh, edited on GitHub. So in this way, the two-way git sync is currently working. Any changes I make in the admin console will be reflected up in GitHub, and any changes I make uh, via GitHub will be um, reflected in the admin console. So this is a good way to actually um, introduce pull requests and that kind of thing into PowerShell Universal by using the two-way git sync. Now we'll look at the behavior of the one-way git sync. So what I've actually changed inside my app settings at JSON is that I have uh, changed the branch. So I'm going to use branch two now instead of the main branch. Uh, and then I'm going to change the git sync behavior from uh, two way to one way. So when one way git sync is enabled, that means the um, PowerShell Universal Admin Console is more or less uh, read only. So let's take a look at what that looks like. 
Um, I've cleared out my universal automation repository uh, directory so that we can start fresh. And I'm going to start up PowerShell Universal. So the first time it starts, it's actually going to do a pull and um, pull the files down into my universal automation directory. Um, and if we log into PowerShell Universal now, what you're going to see is that the uh, admin console is now read only. So for example, uh, you have this particular uh, message at the top. It says one way git sync is enabled and you can't make changes in the console. You can still execute jobs though. So if you do have jobs and scripts and that kind of thing, those are still, uh, you can still execute those. You just can't modify them. So as you can see here, I have an endpoints um, test endpoint here. And inside here, uh, it returns hello, but there's no buttons or anything like that to actually modify this particular endpoint. What I can do is come into my uh, GitHub repo here, and if I switch over to the main branch, or uh, the branch two, um, go into my universal folder, my endpoints file, and if I actually edit this to state hello world, the next time the git sync runs, it's actually gonna update the um, this particular endpoint with hello world. Now that our git sync has run, you can see that hello world was actually updated uh, from that remote git repository. So in this way, you can again use pull requests to manage your PowerShell Universal instance, but you can prevent users from making any changes via the uh, PowerShell Universal admin console so that you could have pretty much a read-only instance in production and then uh, you know, do your development on a development instance and then push changes to your production instance uh, via pull request to your git repo. So in this video, we went over the two different uh, git sync behaviors in PowerShell Universal.